Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantelle and in this video, I'm going to be telling you how to find content ideas for TikTok. So you might be new to TikTok or maybe you've been on TikTok for a while, but you're struggling with your content. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you the exact steps that I take to decide what kind of content I'm going to be creating for TikTok. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to look at the discover page and then you can see what kind of hashtags are trending. So right now we can see we are family is trending and that has about 35 million different posts on there. So this, if you click onto it, you can see what the hashtag is about. And it says, have you been in isolation with your family for the past seven weeks? And this is all about being with family and being in isolation. Each hashtag has a little story and different things that are trending about it. So you can just go through here and have a look and see what other people are posting. And then you can get an idea of what kinds of things that you want to do. So right now, another thing that is really trending is UK trivia, which sometimes the trends are inspired by some of the features on TikTok. So this is a feature that you can use. If you decide to film this, it's a feature that can be used. If you go to effects, the effect is already on and then the questions will come up on the top so you can see it right now. Sometimes they're related to a specific kind of trend. So some of the trends are related to a specific kind of effect that TikTok is promoting so it's good to use those. Well sometimes they're completely random so these ones are pretty random. This is all about cartoon characters so what would you wear if you was a cartoon character. So I like to scroll through here and I usually like to go to about the top three or top four and make sure that I create fresh content every single day. I know a lot of people say that you should pre-film content and have them in batches to go out but what I found is that that doesn't really work really well on TikTok because TikTok is a fresh app. Like trends go in and out in a day so if you film a video three days before or four days before, by the time you posted it, it won't be relevant anymore and it won't get the views that it might have gotten if you had posted it in the beginning. With trends, you need to be fast with them and get on the trend as quickly as possible. If you get on the trend, then your content will do really well. TikTok is really, really trend focused, so you do need to jump on trends, but also you can create your own trends. So creating original content can be really successful as well. So if you're using your own voice and just saying something in your videos, that can potentially go viral because lots of people can use that sound for themselves. So make sure that you take part in TikTok challenges so that you can be very, very relevant. You need to be filming every single day and the easiest way to do that is make sure that you're ready every single day. Just get dressed, get ready, and don't pre-film things. I know that you, it's really tempting, you want to pre-film things. I mean, for YouTube and things like that, and for Instagram, you can batch create and batch upload, but with TikTok, you need to be relevant. You need to be doing content every single day. At minimum, I would say about three times per day, but really try to do three to 10 times per day if you want to grow really well on the platform. Also, don't forget to check out my free guide. The link is in the description to how you can grow on TikTok. I just put together a free guide, a really, really quick ebook, the ins and outs of TikTok, so that you can start growing your account and becoming successful on TikTok. Make sure that you find your niche, but also have fun with it. I found that a lot of people, sometimes what they do on their TikTok is really different from what they do on their Instagram and what they do on their YouTube. Sometimes they go into a completely different niche or sometimes they stay within the same niche. The reason why I say this is because TikTok is a little bit more funny, it's a little bit more authentic and people can see a different side to you when you're on there. Another great way to get inspired for your content is to duet videos or create videos that are easily duetted. Now there is a guy, a creator on TikTok that creates dance videos and he does it in a way that you have to copy him. So he does a little dance for one second and then he waits and then the next person needs to copy his dance moves. So he does the dance and then points to his left because that's the side that the duet will be on. He points to that side and then the person has to dance 
exactly what he's done then he does another second and then points and then the other person has to do that and then by doing that he has created loads of viral videos because lots of people want to go back to the original trend so he's had lots of people duetting him and because loads of people are duetting him he's showing up into lots of people's for you pages so creating highly shareable content or content that people want to duet with is a really really great way for you to get more exposure and I've seen this work with lots of different types of people if they've just done a video where you're meant to duet it and it's meant to be for two people then you should try that out another great way to decide what kind of content to create is if you're already creating content make sure you look at previous content that has done well and see if you can recreate it or make a similar kind of series with that so if you haven't got your pro account yet make sure that you upgrade to a pro account it's free it's easy and then you can see your analytics you can see how many people are watching you and how well your videos are doing so if people are just watching three seconds of the video then you can definitely judge that's kind of content that people don't want to be watching if people are watching 7 10 15 11 seconds then that's the kind of content that you really want to start recreating and doing more of another thing to keep in mind is that TikTok is very geo focused so if your audience is in another country then it could be a little bit harder for you to reach them this is really good for people who have a location dependent businesses so if you're trying to reach the local community then TikTok could be a really great option for you because they like to show content to people in your country and in your area first before pushing it out to other countries and testing it in other places so with that in mind make sure that you make your content super relevant to your country and the place that you're from in my for you page i've seen that content that is really viral where people are taking the mick out of UK politics because I'm in the UK um, that's a big topic at the moment with everything that's going on so when people take the mick out of UK politics it does really viral on TikTok because it's very relevant in the UK and people are just saying what a lot of people are thinking and it, you can just say it on TikTok so people find that really relatable maybe that's not relatable to you but just try and think of a way that you can relate it to the country that you're in so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's inspired you to create your own TikTok videos and come up with amazing content. If you still need a little bit more help, so make sure to click the link in my description because there I have a free guide of how you can grow on TikTok. So